So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click onto any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So, Huey Fury versus Joseph Parker is apparently being scheduled for September 23rd in Manchester. This comes after Huey Fury was meant to fight Joseph Parker for the WBO heavyweight title on May the 6th but pulled out of the fight two weeks before it was going to happen with a back injury. Huey Fury is back in action on July the 8th having a tune-up fight and then he's looking to be back in the ring on September the 23rd against Joseph Parker in the UK. And to me this sounds a little bit fishy. I understand why people would think it is a bit fishy because they lost the purse bids the first time around to have the fight in the UK and I think that was a big problem for the Furies not to have the fight in the UK. I think they were expecting to have it but Frank Warren lost out on the purse bids so they was meant to travel to New Zealand and I thought the fight wasn't going to happen when three weeks before the fight Huey Fury showed no signs of travelling over to New Zealand because he had to travel to New Zealand a couple of weeks before the fight because he had to get his body used to the time change and stuff like that because that can affect the fighter if he comes over too late before a fight in a different time zone in a different country so I thought yeah this fight probably won't happen but now the fight is apparently going to happen in the UK so it all sounds a bit sus from the first time around when Huey Fury pulled out of the fight was the injury legit was it just stalling so they could get the fight in the UK because apparently before Huey Fury backed out of the first fight they were trying to get the fight changed last minute to the UK and to quote um who am I quoting here to quote Joseph Parker here he says in the contract it is what we want and David Higgins has worked very hard to get the contract sorted and now that it's ready and the date is confirmed we're looking forward to going over to the UK and making a statement and putting on a great show the idea of going to the UK is something I'm looking forward to I know I don't hold any grudges about Fury not coming to New Zealand on May the 6th I just go in there respect my opponent and do what I have to do that's going there and win the fight and defend my title. This will only be the third time that Joseph Parker has fought outside of his homeland of New Zealand. And this will be the first time he's fought in the UK. So it will be new territory for Joseph Parker. Obviously there will be a hostile crowd against him in Manchester. Because there will be a lot of pro Fury fans in Manchester on September the 23rd. And I think it will be a good atmosphere. I think it will be a better atmosphere than it would have been in New Zealand. And it will be interesting to see how Huey Fury gets on against Joseph Parker. Some people are saying it's a bit too soon for Huey Fury because he's been inactive. He hasn't really fought top quality opposition. I think the best two opponents he's got on his record are Rudenko and Fred Kasser. Rudenko is a fringe contender and Fred Kasser is a high level journeyman. Huey Fury hasn't fought since the Fred Kasser fight in which he won a technical decision after picking up a bad cut in the sixth round and that was in April of 2016 but Hugh Fury is a young guy he's what only 22 23 years old so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on with Joseph Parker Hugh Fury is a very technical heavyweight he's not a massive puncher similar to his cousin Tyson Fury but his skills are not as refined as his cousins whereas Joseph Parker um, isn't the most powerful heavyweight himself but don't get me wrong he can hit a bit and he has got very fast hands and he is a good boxer as well, Joseph Parker. So I expect this fight to be very competitive. I'm slightly favouring Joseph Parker just because he's been in the higher level fights. And yeah, it'll be interesting. Obviously, Huey Fury has the height advantage over Joseph Parker. Huey Fury is six foot six, and um, Joseph Parker is only six foot three. So will that play advantage in the fight for Huey Fury? Comment below in the comment section. What's your guys' opinions on this? But yeah, Huey Fury versus Joseph Parker looking like it's going to happen in Manchester on September the 23rd. So yeah, it's JM, it's Speedboxing.